Hello and welcome to Ubic. In this short video I'm going to go through a quick overview on some of the new features that have been added to Ubic over the last few months. These new features include the ability to add live RSS feeds directly within your Ubic site as well as content from popular websites such as Flickr, Google's Picasa and Google Docs. We've also added a new preview option for the Amazon Kindle and finally through popular demand from international users we have multi-language support for both the Ubic editor and the site templates. So let's take a look at how they work. So firstly, let's take a look at the new RSS feeds feature. I've already created a page that includes news feeds from my favourite news sites, the BBC and CNN. And I added these feed sections simply by dragging in the feed icon from the design bar at the top of the page into the place on the page that I want to have them appear. If we take a look at the original feeds, we can see that there's actually quite a lot of news articles being displayed for each feed which is probably a little bit too much for mobile sites. So in my editor, when I click on the feed section, I have the option of entering in the URL for the news feed, as well as deciding how many items are going to show. In this case, I'm just going to select two, two from the BBC, and again, two from the CNN link. Once I'm happy with my settings, I can then preview how that page is going to look on the right-hand side of the screen in this preview panel. This gives me a quick and easy way to show the latest live headlines within my Ubic site. So as well as including content from RSS feeds, I can also include content from popular websites such as Flickr. So let's say I want to include photos within my Ubic site from this ballooning event. I can do this simply by creating a page in this case including the external content section directly within the page. You can see here I can select from where I want to get the contents, in this case Flickr Photos. I provide the connection details and I can also choose how many items to show, how many photos to show, from which sets I want to display the photographs, I'll choose balloons, and also any additional filters that I want to apply based on keywords and tags. Once I'm happy with my changes, I can again preview how my site's going to look on the right-hand panel and also see how it's going to look on various different devices such as the iPhone, basic mobile handsets, as well as high-end smartphones. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, we've also added the Amazon Kindle within the preview page. And this allows you to see how your site will look on black and white ebook readers in addition to the other devices that are in the preview panel. Finally, the last new feature we've added is multi-language support. You can find the multi-language option down on the right-hand side of the screen at the bottom, and this allows you to change the language in which both the Ubic editor and the site templates are shown in. Currently around a dozen languages are supported covering the main European languages, Hindu and Chinese, and as you can see, once I make the change, the Ubic editor is updated to my selected language as well as all the section titles within my Ubic site. So I hope you will find all these new features useful when building your mobile Ubic sites and many thanks for watching.